Hello, welcome to the short complimentary video outlining five challenges that many dentists encounter and how you can overcome those challenges. If you are the leader or the entrepreneurial owner of a dental practice, then you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you're growing, but not to the level you like. Maybe you're stagnating and you like to get unstuck and start growing again. Maybe you're declining and you'd like to turn that around. Or maybe you're growing so fast you realize you may not have the internal structure to continue growing without anything breaking down and you feel like you are about ready to crash. No matter which one of these scenarios you are in, then this short video will cover just five areas that may be stopping you from rapid growth in your business and how you can overcome them to achieve the results you are looking for. Steve Feld here, certified business coach. Dentists hire me to monetize their marketing because most are not getting an ROI on their marketing patient count is declining, and they're struggling financially. So I help them exponentially increase their leads, revenue, and align their core message to their target market with laser focus. The bottom line is this. You need to stop being part of the pack and start leading the pack. I have owned and operated six businesses, operated three others, and been part of three different Fortune 500 companies, received multiple business awards, and work with hundreds of business owners to achieve rapid growth results. I have seen many other areas that interfere with a dental practice ability to grow rapidly, but I'm only going to highlight five of them here for you today in this video. Number one, no growth strategy. Now, research has shown that one significant predictor for business growth is not the industry they're in, nor is it the size of their business, or even how long they've been in business. The predictor is a solid growth plan. Many businesses' growth strategy is like fire, ready, aim in which you start firing shots, hoping somehow you're gonna hit the target. Your approach to how you will grow your business is as important as your goal for its success. If you're just focused on getting sales and clients or just expanding without taking a step back or having a solid growth plan to produce long-term success, it's almost the same as a chicken running around with its head cut off. To overcome this challenge, you need to have a solid written operating growth strategy in your business. At least one to three years out, and review it every single month. Just hanging your shingle out is not a growth strategy plan. Number two, staffing. This one is probably the most common top five challenges in all businesses. You may be a dentist, but remember you're also the business owner or leader. Your staff can either make or break your business. They can either attract or detract current and potential clients. They can improve the operations of your business, or sabotage it, forcing it to come to a grinding halt. One of the top reasons your clients leave you is not because of you or your service, it's because of your staff. Many practitioners don't really know how to source, interview, or onboard quality staff. They may hire someone that has worked in the dental industry for years, but soon realize that person has horrible customer service skills, which is a killer. Bringing on the right staff that you can develop and grow, along with all the right soft skills, is critical. I'm sure they didn't train you for this in dental school. They probably just said you need X number of dental hygienists, X number of front desk staff, and so on. They didn't really show you what to look for in a candidate and how to interview them. How to overcome this challenge is where outside help is available and should be used. Not to find and hire staff for you, but to coach and educate you on how to attract, interview, onboard, and develop staff to grow your practice and make your life so much better. These employees will be yours, not a temp for staffing agency. You still need to have set standards and interview each person you are thinking about bringing on in your business. Number three, you're managing the wrong things. Business is a lot like soup. From the diner's perspective, it's simply good or bad tasting. But from the cook's perspective, it's a precise mixture of broth, vegetables, and seasoning that makes it good or bad tasting. I think we often approach our businesses more like the diner than the cook. We manage the soup rather than the combination of proper ingredients. One of the things I see that holds businesses back is a failure to view their business as a precise blend of purpose, projects, and processes. Maintaining a focus on managing these three things at all times is how you make your business grow towards your vision. If you pull on one lever in your business thinking that is the one that will fix the problem at the moment, what will that do to the other levers? Many dental business owners may focus on dental procedure where the real issue may be marketing, or the front desk staff, or even the training. Manage your business as a full entity, not in parts. 
Number four, the feeling of being overwhelmed. Yes, you may feel psychologically and physically overwhelmed by the constant stress of ownership, and trying to be the practitioner, but there's still those moments that can be devoted to future planning. All business owners have felt this at some time. It's natural. But the key is to take time out of your schedule every week and just sit down, turn off the phones and computer, and put pen to paper and think. Plan and make your decisions about the future of your business. You have a lot on your plate with insurance regulations, staffing issues, lab delays, your development training, as well as your staffs, inventory, marketing, budgeting, and on and on. Find a place that will give you the space to think and dream, to plan and prepare for tomorrow. Look at your weekly reports and compare them to your plan. You know a good place to think? Go there. Spend that time planning for the future of your business and not simply dealing with the current operations and problems that come up every single moment. Number five, leadership and management. In Michael Gerber's book, E-Myth, he details out what I call the three eyes of a business owner. The entrepreneur, they're the visionary. Yes, you, the business owner. The manager, someone that manages others and follows the entrepreneur's wishes. And the technician, the person that does all the tasks. Almost all dentists became a dentist because you like practicing dentistry. The technician, many of you want to own your own practice. The entrepreneur, you went to dental school to be the technician. But few of you have taken business classes or enhanced your knowledge on being a business owner. But for the most part, you are the technician and you're forced to be the entrepreneur. Do not fret. This occurs in many other types of technical businesses I'm telling you about. There's a solution to help you breathe again. You can be both the entrepreneur and the technician, but you must realize both roles and know when to be each one. If you must have a disciplinary talk with one of your employees, you need to put on your entrepreneurial hat. But when you're with the client, you have to have your technician hat on. The challenge is finding the right balance between the two. This is where having a business coach will assist you in finding that balance. This is your business, and it needs to be ran like a business, but still allowing you to be the technician. If you need some outside assistance in getting you to this balance, then do so. It will be one of the most positive impacts on your business and in your life. If you really enjoyed this special complimentary video, then you'll like this too. If you're looking to grow your dental practice rapidly, Make sure it's set up for long-term success and achieve your personal and business goals, then I'd like to help you do that. You see, dentists hire me to monetize their marketing because most of them are not getting an ROI on their marketing, patient count is declining, and they're struggling financially. So I help them exponentially increase their leads, revenue, and align their core message to their target market with laser focus. Bottom line is, you need to stop being part of the pack and start leading the pack. So if you're ready to take the jump, and your business and get you that work-life balance that you so desire, then book a 30-minute call with me. Let's talk about your dental practice. But only book a call with me if you're serious about investing in your dental practice to increase your business. Do not book a call with me if you're all talk. You're never going to take any action to implement any of the growth strategies in your business. And you're quite frankly, well, you're happy where you're at. So when you're ready, click on that link below in the description area or below this video, or copy and paste the URL into your browser. Let's talk to see how I can assist you achieve your goals and dreams. To your success, this is Steve Feld.